You know the drill. If you want to catch fish, you've got to get up good and early. But did you know this early to bed and early to rise stuff also works when you want to catch Kona crab? Hey, good morning, Captain. Hey, good morning. What's up today? Well, I'm going to try some Kona crab today. I'll put a nacho Maui. Started off diving with my dad. We used to dive all on a notch side. And I think I was like about six, six years old. I started, we first started diving all on the notch side. And then eventually, you know how you start dragging one line and then two lines, <laughs> and then you start four lines and you start going deeper and deeper and you end up trolling. What are the regs right now? I know you cannot take the females. You cannot take the females. You only can take males. Uh -huh. They gotta be four inches and bigger. Gotcha. Everything else you gotta put back, get them the next time. Yeah, who is on the boat with us? Okay, we got Kyle. Uh-huh. And my normal crew that fishes with me is uh, BJ, Cub and Team. Mm-hmm. So what are the tricks about going after Kona crab that the average guy might not know about? I guess the most important is you get fresh bait. Best bait is the toughest. See with the wire, Ben. Fast and easy. Well, I'll add that to one more thing you can do to the list of uh, ways to use the old telephone wire, huh? Yeah, you know, everybody recycling all that nowadays. Right here, Ben. I kind of like tuck them under any part of the cord, the net, and then I bend them up, and then I just twist them. Once we set the last one, then we go back check. Yeah, usually two, Ben. They say different depths, I found out so. Yeah, so what depth do you like? Uh, you know, you can go from maybe 16 fathoms to, I can go up to maybe uh, 25. I guess just like that, I'll ask King Crabbers, they gotta kinda like find them too. This is almost like the same. They kinda like move around when they feed, so. Yeah, but this is not exactly the world's deadliest catch, is it? Oh, no, this is, uh, this is what they dream of, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time to do the first check, huh? Fresh check, see what happens. Hey, Kyle. How come you got the good job? Oh, I think I gotta lose the most weight. <laughs> yeah, Ben, this is how you check them. What happens is you gotta check them from here to here. This one is legal. Gotta be four inches. This is definitely one. Check it out. We got some, Ben. He's a little bit shy, so we gotta get him on the next trip. See, I put him in here, Ben, and I'm gonna take them and we're gonna pat him inside. There you go. This is all females. You all gotta go back. You can see this is all female. The head kind of round. Uh huh. And the male is kind of like straight across. You talk about a tail right here. Yeah. The and the tail. Is dead here, one is white. So the one on my left is the female. Yes. So this is a female. Here is the male. So, BJ, those are catch and release. Catch and release. Hey, BJ, boys of Maui got crabs, huh? 
Oh, last week we had ukus. <laughs> <laughs> When you go out on uh, trips like this, say you catch a hundred crabs, how many females and how many undersized are you throwing back? Probably about 80%. 80% so goes back, huh? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, this catch and release program you have with the undersized and the female crabs, it's really working, huh? Yes. Look at that, dude. Good job, guys. Nothing like being out in the ocean, man. You got that right. Then you catch it even better. Folks, a lot of people say thank you for this great time. Of course, Captain Emilio, Kyle, and BJ. Folks, don't go away. A lot more of the fishing show is coming your way right after you catch this. Woo-ha! <laughs> <laughs>